Wow. Tonight was a stunner. I saw The Hunt. Mads Mikkelsen, director Thomas Vinterberg. This this is a this is a big one for me. This is a movie that really chilled me. This is this is the most tension at a movie for me in years. I haven't seen Fatal Attraction in a while, but I think this might be for me a more stressful movie to watch. And a lot of that has to do with my own life experience and the fact that uh, this movie directly addresses some of the real life fears that I, I had until until recently, and I'll talk about that in a bit. I, I saw this movie without knowing the premise. That's a lot of fun. If you want that experience too, then I'll just say um, to someone open to a dark, chilling tale based on a real life premise, uh, I'll recommend this to you. I'm gonna spoil now. I'm gonna start with a premise spoiler. If you just want this premise spoiled, I'll give you that, and then after that, it's it's uh, full blown. Oh, and again, I, I don't expect you to react as strongly as I did. This affected me in a specific way because of, probably because of my uh, career history. The premise. The premise is what happens when a five-year-old girl at a preschool or kindergarten brings into conversation a male teacher's penis. Just that, that simple but dramatic topic coming from the mouth of a five-year-old child, female child at that, that changes everything. And this is a movie that takes place in a small town, so the repercussions are everywhere. Your reputation is everything in a small town. It's it's not something you can escape by just walking five blocks to the other side of Manhattan. So on my way home from watching the movie, I listened to an Australian podcast, and one of the guys on the podcast, and let's plug it for them, it's called lastpodcastshow.com, lastpodcastshow.com. One of the guys mentioned that he'd seen the movie twice. He said the first time he saw the movie, he presumed innocence for the Mads Mikkelsen character. He's the main character. He plays a teacher that ends up uh, accused of sexual misconduct with a child and then sexual misconduct with multiple children. He mentioned the first time he watched the movie, he presumed innocence, and the second time he watched the movie, he, he thought, what if, what if in fact he's not innocent? The movie doesn't present any definite proof one way or the other. I missed the first 10 or 15 minutes, but based on what the uh, podcaster described, he described a scene in which this uh, five-ish-year-old girl kisses Mads Mikkelsen on the mouth, and he appears to be genuinely stunned, uncomfortable, and uh, tell her that only your... Uh, parents can kiss you should only kiss your parents on the mouth something like that and in fact I think that's part of the time that I was slipping into the movie theater I I don't recall the beginning well because it was standing room only and I was trying to, to figure out where I was gonna stand or hopefully sit um, the, the reason this hit home with me strongly is because until recently I was a physician and um, as a physician this was very scary the knowledge that if you're accused of sexual misconduct. The accusation alone is enough to potentially ruin your career. Whether or not there's there's truth behind it, just just the awareness um, within a community that of this accusation, you have the potential for for losing your career or at least being tainted. Even if even if uh, people say that you're absolved of accusations. Um, I don't think it can, things can ever be quite the same. If your child is at a preschool and you hear word about such accusations, um, I think that even a sliver of a doubt will be enough to get you to take your child to another school. You would have to be pretty confident that nothing happened uh, to leave your child there. That's, that's, the way I, that's the way I feel. That's what I would do with my, my children. If, if I had any doubt, why not uh, just take them to another school where I feel a bit more comfortable? So this is uh, this is murky stuff. Um, you probably know that in the U.S., the practice is for male physicians to have uh, chaperones in the room. That way, everything's witnessed. Um, I do remember being in France several years ago, and uh, chaperones were not required, at least at that time. Uh, in doing physical examinations on, on ladies. 
so it was it was kind of a cultural shock here I don't know I presume that female physicians do the same thing with male patients with regard to children I don't know how strict that is is it is it not allowed to have uh, a pediatrician alone doing physical examination on a child I'm not sure how that works um, so this is very chilling because in at least my distant social circle I know of at least one case in which a physician was accused of sexual misconduct and uh, subsequently lost the career and uh, that was always pretty spooky to me the fact that you didn't have to do anything. All you needed was uh, an accusation. Again, these accusations would be very rare if you play everything by the book, but all it takes is one. Um, I want to talk about this more. I'm hoping I can talk about it with Trace and Paul after they see the movie. The movie comes out July 12th. Um, I, I do recommend it, uh, unless this doesn't seem to be uh, the theme for you, but if you're up for a chiller, check it out. Thanks a lot. Oh, we do appreciate your subscriptions. If you like our stuff, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give us feedback, questions at foreignfilmcast at gmail.com. Ciao.